playing the game and it does i don't think it helps that the way that theme decks are set up and if if you're not looking to learn how to make a a functional deck it is very easy to make something and it looks like they had some experience right they did get the the mew and the soul rock and the lunatone oh no why do we keep getting all of these bad matchups okay do we want I guess let's oh well hold on wait, wait cancel 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 let's see what we can grab off the the discard here okay let's see what else we can grab mysterious tail we do get a battle VIP pass that's great okay let's go Dialga Greninja and yeah I was saying like as you are you're building your first deck in, in ptcgo or like pokemon you, you kind of have like a very loose idea of what you want to do um but it's it's very easy to not understand and just like here here's a pile of stuff make yeah you make a deck with a pile of stuff here's all my v's and my my v maxes all in one deck and then you you, don't, you just don't know any better because you, you didn't you haven't had you haven't learned and that's the type of deck that happens and right now um we're running into more decks of that style because i tried to make the the dialga blastoise deck work and it bombed miserably for us to the point where my elo is now in the toilet but we are up against a what should be a very strong deck in the malamar deck and this is a horrible matchup for Di this Dialga deck is not built for for this. I think the only way we win this is if we can if we can get Dialga V Star powered up next turn. We can take two turns and we knock out the only in case they have on the board. That's it. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure we've lost. <laughs> Yeah, I will say this is not my style of deck. I like to play something that's more consistent. Um, I think my favorite deck, I know it's fallen on hard times now, and I'm probably biased because I played, I play this deck all the time, mostly in PTCG Live, where it's the only real deck I have built. Um... I like to play Mew V Max. It's my favorite deck because, and it, look, it's not, it might be the most consistent, but it does. There are times where you just draw absolutely horrible starting hands and it's over. But I feel like it has enough in there to make things work. Okay. So they have, they have not played this in an ideal way. So there is, there's still a chance we can make this work. Let's go and discard some energy. We are very much looking for the Avery's could come in handy, though that's not what we're looking for right this second. We do get a metal saucer. That's fantastic. And do we have another? No, I don't need training court right now. Uh, we do. We do want Pokestop, though. We do get another metal saucer. Here we go. Here we go. Um, this, it's time to pop off. Did we get the escape rope? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is, I think we got him. I think we got him. We pulled off the crazy thing. Okay. They are going to put that in there and actually yeah i'm ooh do we take i think we have to take the two in case we have to take the two in case um and we can probably yeah let's go start chronos this and i know technically like if we could if we hit the sobble or the or the remoraid 
we could just win that way too but i am scared that if we do here this will at least buy us one more turn to to possibly win okay so now they don't they don't have they can't attack us next turn and we do have bo two bosses in hand and hopefully we have enough time to get a, a Zacian set up here just in case. Or a Dialga even. Do we want to just set up a second Dialga? Ooh. They're going to draw a whole bunch of cards. I'm guessing they're going to play a Cynthia's Ambition here. Hmm. Okay. At this point, do we do we want to try and knock an Inke or do we knock like the Driz Island stop them from drawing a whole bunch of cards? This is still a tough choice. I don't at this point now. I don't know if we've got this win. Yeah, they're gonna get Cynthia's ambition. Damn it. Okay. Huh. Oh, and they've got three Inkes on the board. Okay. So that's not, that's bad, like really bad. And they will get some rapid strike energy here. Um, I think we might have to get a Zashi. We might have to go set up Zashi in here in light of us not having so what's more, I know they have the Drizzle here. If if they have the Drizzle here, they're going to be able to get Cynthia's Ambition going. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. So let's get, let's get Zashian set up. And, ooh, we can actually play an Avery here. Do we want Avery or do we want... No, I want the, I want the Sobble out of here. This. Because I can almost guarantee if we left Sobble out there, they could play Cynthia's Ambition. Uh, maybe because they already have a bunch of cards, they can't. But at least by doing that, they're stuck with the hand that they have, which may or may not be enough to knock us out. Jeez. How many Malamar? Oh, they've, they've got all their Malamars. somewhere there's no energy in the discard we're sitting on two Avery's and a boss so we can force them to discard cards if they if they try and pop off here hmm let's see how they go about this if we can knock out the octil or oh gosh Uh, is this going to do enough damage? They still have the Cynthia in hand? Even after I took out the Drizzile? Oh, God. <sighs> Every time I play the Malamar deck, I never have the cards. I need. And when I play someone playing the Malamar deck, they always have the cards. So there is a there is a decent shot they can knock us out here. What is what, Okay, are you going to put yeah, 4 8 12 16 17 20. If 7 out of these 8 cards are rapid strike cards, we lose. Oh, if 8 out of 9 cards are rapid strike cards, uh, we are dead. Oh my goodness. And they're going to put Brawly in their hand. Okay. And they're going to scoop. What are they going to scoop? Yeah, they're, they have to go all in. On this attack. To knock out this Dialga. So we're going to lose the Dialga. And, and that's unfortunate. Are they going to bench? Okay, they're going to bench Sobble. 
and they're not going to bench the other thing. So this is bad. This is very bad. But we're not necessarily done. Okay, they still have two cards left. Okay, here's how we we pull this out of the fire. <laughs> uh, is it even worth benching Dialga at this point? It might not be. If we can get like a... Get the last... Okay, let's go and let's, you know, play around with our options here. I I don't think we're going to get what we're looking for. I'm pretty sure this deck doesn't run boss. Okay. So we've already attached energy. We can't do anything on that front. So let's go and... Get rid of these. Maybe there's a metal saucer in there. No, there is not. We can scoop. And we'll put Zashian out here. And let's go and boss up that Sobble. And just hope and pray that they have nothing good in those four, hand four cards to, to knock us out. Also, thank you to Steph and Michelle for getting me the ice cap here. Mm. They do bench a... They do bench a Sobble, which is very bad. Bad news, bears. I'm still looking for one metal saucer, which might be in the prizes. I don't think... Oh, they don't have enough! They don't have enough energy to attack right now. Um, that might be... Okay. If we attach here, this is going to do 80. Um, okay. How... We're going to risk it. Okay. We do get a switch. Um, switch to Mew. What items do we have? We do have a metal saucer. And... Okay. Okay. This is... Oh my goodness. This is scary hours here. Um, we'll retreat. Pull out the Zashian. Swing for 230. We only need one prize. That's it. One prize. Um, in a oh. okay, I, th I think we have it one. But it's not guaranteed. I'm trying to think. What possible thing could they do right now to to win this game? Like a Marnie or something? Boss, like a Crobat, get something stuck? Okay, they do get a Cynthia's Ambition. And if they boom on this Zashian, that's fine. Even if they boom on the Dialga, that's fine. I don't think they can't. This, yeah, Malamar doesn't really run boss at all. Oh my goodness. If they boom, they boom. Gali says, speaking of energy, now's a good time for today's sponsor, In Third Person Energy, the official energy drink of In Third Person. Get your... No. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate the plug, Gali. I will never do any sort of sponsorships with energy drinks. I don't, I don't drink that stuff. This is an insane match. Oh my goodness. So they are, yeah, they are gearing up to try and hit me with everything on, on the Zashian. And it works. And that's a good play for them. This is... 
Uh, I think we just we just go in, right? And their their gamble is, uh, I don't have any more energy, and they win. They deck me out. Unfortunately for them, I do have energy, and I swing and get the knockout for the win. GGs! Holy cow! <laughs> What an insane match. Oh, wow. Wow. And that was a you know, that was a long game. Like this deck is not built for for the single prize matchup. It's like Dialga's too frail. It's really slow to get that second one going. Uh but getting Star Kronos at the beginning of the match was chef's kiss just to get the two two inkes off the board as i said my only shot of winning that game was knocking those two inkes back to back on like my second turn and we got it and we still almost lost it came down to the last card but but it worked it worked it worked we'll take it <laughs> Oh, and, and so, yeah, that, that is the, the Dialga V-Star deck, very high risk, very high reward. It's not, it's got some really glaring bad matchups. It's bad against single prize decks in light of what you just saw. It's bad against... I mean, anything that, like just not going first and getting bossed on the second turn and getting hit. Uh, but when it works, it is one of the most thrilling and exciting decks to play in the game. Uh, so there you have it.